Welcome back and here now we are going to be working with uh, frame questions and I just noticed that uh, speaking of frames so my, my brother drew those when he was in high school many many years ago and now the brain hands are following me uh, I'm at my parents house recording this so let's see in general frame questions you will have two rectangles if it's a uniform width and there will be called the width W all around look at these questions and you'll either need to use so you're gonna have a big rectangle, which is going to be on the outside, a small rectangle in the inside, and then the part in between, which in this case is the frame. Now sometimes you're looking for the frame, sometimes it can be a, a border of flowers. You never know which one is the one that you're going to do, but basically you're going to use the one that has the W's on the area. And this will make more sense when, when we start um, doing examples. So let's look at this. A photographer wants to place a picture in a frame in which the wide area around the picture, the mat, will have the same area as the picture. It's the same area, so that's important. If the picture is a 6x4, what are the dimensions of the mat? So you want to draw something like this. Thing on the outside, and thing on the inside. We know that it's 6x4. I chose to put it sideways, and that's okay. And then I know that every single width is W, because it says it's going to be a uniform width. And if it didn't say it, it should. So if it's uniform width, then I know that this side is actually, well, that's 6 in length, that's W, and that's W. So this is W, that is 6, and that is W. So the whole thing is 6 plus 2W. Make sense? And in the same way, the height of this is 4 plus 2W because we're going to have 4 right there and W and W. Okay, so remember that I said we're going to do the area for the one rectangle that has the W's. Well, the inside triangle, uh, sorry, rectangle is just 6 by 4. But the outside triangle has the W, so that's the one I'm going to use. So what the area for a rectangle, it's basically length times width. And in this case, length times width is 4 plus 2w times 6 plus 2w. And what is the area? Okay, well I know the area of the inside is 24 because it's 6 by 4. Now the area of the outside is also 24. Why? Because it says it's the same area as the picture. Now if it said it's double the area then it would have been 48. And if it says it's half the area, then it would have been 12. So just pay attention to that. It's not always the same. But then the area of the big rectangle, it's 24 plus 24, which of course is 48. But I'm just going to write 24 plus 24. Okay, let's look back at the question. Did it say maximum or minimum somewhere? No, it didn't. So therefore, there's an initial no. Therefore, I'm looking for the zeros. I gotta make this equal to zero. So what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to expand this and then move this 48 over to the other side. So let's expand this. Four times six is 24. Four, and I'm gonna do, that's 12w, 8w, it's 20w. And now four, so two times two is four w squared. And I'm gonna have the minus the minus 48 from this side. I'm going to continue in blue. Now I made it equal to zero. So if I'm looking for zeros, well, 48 minus 24 is just 24. So I'm going to rearrange it. 4w squared plus 20w plus minus 24. Okay, so um, I can do quadratic formula or I can factor it. This looks like it can be factored, so I'm going to give that a try. I'm going to factor out first for the 4, w squared plus 5w minus 6, and that was nice. And this is easy. Two numbers that multiply to minus 6 that add up to 5. It's going to be w plus 6 and w minus 1. And that makes it. And since this is equal to 0, I can tell by inspection that this is y is equal to minus 6. I said y, but I meant w. And here, w is equal to 1. 
Okay, let's just check for a sec. Would w equal to minus 6 make any sense? No, this is not applicable. Would w equal to 1 make sense? Yeah, a frame of 1 inch long seems to be quite right. There's nothing wrong with minus 6, okay? Sometimes actually the negatives actually make sense, particularly when you talk about money. But in this case, a width of negative doesn't actually work out. Sometimes the width will end up being too big if you're talking about the one in the inside and it won't make sense, even, even though it's positive, so be careful. But in this case, we said that this is 1, so therefore, what is the 6 plus 2w? That will give us 8 inches and 4 plus 2w that will give us 6 inches so the math is I'm not sure if it's 2 t or no but let's keep it like this 6 by 8 inches